So we're actually here at the shooting range and we're able to see the impact of different firearms and what you can actually gain forensically from an examination of each shot. So we're able to see the difference between the entrance and the exit damage which is caused by the bullet fired from a handgun and we're then able to see the impact of gunshot residue which is able to then determine uh, the range from which the weapon was actually fired. Um, we then saw how bullet casings were ejected from a semi-automatic handgun, which can then be used to determine where the offender was actually standing at the time of the offence. Um, finally, we then got to see the difference in blood splatter from a gunshot fired at different distances. And uh, lastly, the impact of a shotgun, which is actually one of the most frequent weapons used in the UK, and what the spread of shots look like as the gun is fired from different distances. Here we saw how an examination of a windscreen through which bullets had been fired can help to determine which shot was fired first, second and third. Radial lines and fracture lines can help differentiate the sequence in which shots are fired. Clearly this is important as it may help determine who fired the fatal shot. We also examined bullet entry points into a vehicle using rods, protractors and mathematics. We were able to work out how to establish the angle of the shot. It was very sophisticated but helped to establish the direction and angle of travel of each bullet. This could be the difference in proving someone's innocence or guilt. Here we can see the use of lasers that are used to track the trajectory of a bullet. This is used to try and plot the location the perpetrator was standing when the shots were fired. This method of plotting a trajectory is highly sophisticated and helps the crime scene investigators determine where the offender may have been standing at the time the shots were fired. Clearly this may help with the recovery of other evidence, such as footwear marks or bullet casings at that location.